Well, it was, you know, obviously our fathers always have an impact on us and he got me started. Uh, and, you know, I really didn't have a teacher per se, although I did. I mean, I had some guys that helped me, but I'm going to guess if this makes any sense is that a place probably had more influence, influence on me than any one person. And that would have been McDonald park. And, uh, as you probably know, and I've probably told you a number of times that in the late fifties and the sixties and seventies, there was oh, 25 or 30 guys that all played pretty well. And that's where all the games were. That's where all the, the bets and the gambling and, you know, not high stuff, but that's basically where I learned just about everything. I, you know, those guys over there were always pretty good. And they had no problems taking money from a younger guy. <laughs> so uh, they they didn't have, didn't matter. You were sixteen years old. They were going to take your money. Oh yes, they take your money. Whatever else they could get. Do you think that that had a big influence on how how you developed your game? I mean, because you, I, I think it was the most largest influence of anything. Well, uh, so you said you didn't really have an instructor. That's kind of running anti-modern day because nowadays just about every kid grows up with an instructor i mean do, do, in your opinion would you rather grow up the way you did without all that help and just kind of figuring it out or would you rather have somebody guiding you along the way well you know i i gotta be a little careful here my opinions sometimes i i talk too much about them but you know i think i think nowadays I think the teaching is is far better than it was many years ago. I think there's a, a lot of people who know how to teach the game. But I think it's, you know, this teaching from machines and angles and copying the guys on the tour and all that stuff they do. And I, you know, I can't get real definitive here about how it happens because I don't know much about it. But I think. I think they learn more how to swing than they learn how to play. Mm, mm, that's well said. And I think that, you know, the way I learned is that, I mean, I would have loved to have had somebody make my grip a little less strong. And I would have, it would have been a nice to, to have somebody to run to. Hey, but on the other hand, you had to learn the hard way. You had to go out there while you were playing and figure it out. And there's something about that. There's something about learning it on the run. And then, you know, you're, you're not stuck because you've learned it yourself. And then you're able to help yourself. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad you said that, Greer. My favorite teachers today are the ones who actually like to go to tournaments and watch players play that they teach and that actually caddy occasionally for one of their players because they – they get to see what is happening on the golf course and they actually give playing lessons. I, I think that's valuable because I'm, I'm not a huge fan of just learning the game in a laboratory. I think there's a place for that, but I also think you need to get out and dig it out of the ground. Well, I, I, I think that, I think you're right. I, I think there's, I think the guys that go out on the golf course, because obviously you don't swing the same always as you do when you're practicing or when you're playing with your friends, as you do, coming down the 71st hole with a one shot late. So you need to, whoever helps you needs to watch you when you've got the heat on you and see what happens. You know, how much does my swing shorten? How much do I stop turning? All the little things that make a great golf swing. But I agree with you hundred percent. I think those guys that are on the spot or on the job or take the time to go out with a, with a, their player and watch when it, when it counts, when you've got that scorecard in your pocket. I think those are the guys that if I had a youngster and I was going to take them to learn, that's who I'd take them to. 